so the winding of this transformer is now complete uh, you can see here that we have uh, two loops uh, first one that is this one is for the primary while the second loop is for the second uh, the output or the secondary winding right here uh, we are going to give the input voltage uh, for me it's uh, 230 volts so I will be giving 230 volts here and uh, the output uh, expected output voltage at these points are uh, 12 volts so hopefully uh, this transformer is going to fulfill the requirement of uh, spot welding uh, there are other applications too for uh, this transformer that you can use it for for example you can use it for a battery charger or uh, you can design uh, simple power supplies but uh, nowadays such power supplies are like obsolete we don't use power supplies with such a big transformer because obviously uh, they are quite heavy uh, after we are going to place those plates inside uh, and the, those metallic plates so uh, the recommended power supplies are mostly uh, switching mode power supplies so now let's uh, begin the next step here uh, and that will be uh, placing all the EI plates or the core uh, between this uh, uh, two winding loops so let's begin all right so uh, here is the EI core that uh, I was talking about and uh, the EI core is going to be placed inside this bobbin uh, in a manner uh, that uh, first we are going to place this uh, E plate from one side and uh, place an I above this E plate and next step will be uh, placing the E plate from the other side and then the I plate right so i'm going to show you this whole process uh, it is a time consuming job but it is easy so uh, you have to follow these steps carefully because uh, uh, if you're not doing it uh, in the right way then issues like heating and uh, humming sound uh, will be the major factors that will reduce the performance of your transformer all right so let's begin
right so uh, the assembling of this uh, transformer is finally completed and uh, as you can see that all the cores that ER EI cores are now being placed inside this uh, bobbin and uh, the initial uh, first the uh, most of the plates were very easy to be uh, just added inside but uh, later on uh, as you move further and further so you have to just push it harder uh, so that EI, all the EI plates should be added correctly should be placed uh, correctly and uh, if you are going to uh, have less number of plates so obviously that means that uh, the magnetization of this transformer will also be reduced so i'll suggest you that you should add as many plates as possible but uh, be careful that uh, forcing too much or uh, adding too much force on this uh, uh, ea plates while just pushing it harder inside this uh, bobbin uh, might be a risk to this uh, bobbin since it's a plastic material so you might uh, not just uh, damage this bobbin right so it's important to be careful while working on this transformer design so uh, the next step is uh, we are going to test this transformer but uh, before directly if you are going to uh, test this first time so the proper method uh, to test this uh, test a new transformer is uh, by not just uh, connecting it directly to your mains because uh, if there is any short uh, between this uh, wire and uh, and some other loop inside say for example you while you were placing these plates uh, there is a possibility that uh, the plate uh, slice a little bit of this wire uh, while going through this uh, part right so that will cause the wires to just uh, uh, touch directly at that point so obviously uh, it is a dangerous procedure to test it directly with the mains instead a more safer version is um, you can have a series uh, 200 watt bulb uh, so that uh, if there is any shortage uh, obviously the bulb will uh, glow at its full intensity and it will uh, give you an indication that uh, there is some problem with the transformer right so i have this setup with me right here and i'm going to show you by adding uh, those wires too uh, here we can see uh, this is my test bulb and uh, i will be using uh, this wire this is a test wire so oh, you can see here that uh, if i just connect it here and if i'm going to touch these two wires directly then simply the bulb goes right so the bulb is in series with these two wires now what we are going to do is we are going to connect one wire with this one and uh, the other wire at here uh, also be careful not to touch uh, these wires because obviously uh, the bulb is in series but uh, the voltage is still 220 volts so it's very dangerous so be careful and uh, it can be a little procedure while you are uh, testing this transformer right so initially you can just uh, simply touch it and you can remove it right so make sure that uh, there is no issues and you are going to hear uh, some humming noise from your transformer like uh, i'm hearing from my transformer too right so i'm going to connect it right now here all right so you can see that this transformer is now in its uh, working condition and uh, i hope you are you can hear that humming noise let me just take out my camera from here so that you can hear that noise okay so and the reason of uh, this humming noise from this uh, transformer is because uh, we have uh, these minor spaces between each of these plates and uh, since there is uh, this magnetization of this core so the two plates are just uh, 
vibrating uh, at its place uh, and in order to minimize uh, this noise it is important to uh, use uh, nuts and bolts across the four holes of this transformer and in this way you are going to reduce this noise and uh, it also helps to uh, not to uh, it also helps in reducing the temperature of this transformer right so uh, this uh, humming noise also is going to add the uh, heat while we are working on this transformer uh, finally uh, we are going to test this uh, transformer by measuring the output voltages and uh, I am going to connect my multimeter here you can see I have placed it at uh, AC 200 and now we are going to connect the two, two probes here and uh, we are measuring 13.2 volts AC at the output terminals right and uh, that means that uh, we can use this transformer now for uh, the design of our spot welder machine uh, one point uh, I want I would like to add here that uh, I have seen other people uh, that they are using those uh, microwave oven transformers for designing of uh, spot welder machines obviously that is a uh, easy method and obviously a quick method but the problem with those transformers is uh, you don't know the exact power you don't know the exact uh, turn ratios right so uh, I believe that if you are a designer uh, you are a hobbyist and you uh, if you are planning to for a new project it is always a good procedure to design uh, for example this transformer by yourself so that you should and you must know all the inputs and outputs of your project right so in this way uh, you can control the complete mechanism of your project uh, similarly there are other applications of this transformer like I uh, said earlier uh, you can use this transformer for charging of your batteries by adding a couple of diodes and uh, capacitors and the regulators uh, and also uh, the same manner will also give you a, a simple AC to DC power supplies right but since it's this transformer is a very bulky transformer uh, it is a very heavy transformer so uh, nowadays we don't use such power supplies or uh, uh, you can say battery chargers for uh, uh, daily use as we have smart uh, switch mode supplies and power supp uh, power supplies and those uh, chargers so uh, right now I am going to stop my video here uh, so that we can uh, have another look of this transformer in the upcoming video where I will be adding a uh, couple of components uh, at the output of this transformer here so that we can convert this AC into DC and then we can have a DC spot welder machine also I am going to use this transformer directly for spot welding uh, but that will also require a small circuit so that we can add th th that uh, pulsating component it is very important to have that pulsating component uh, after this transformer because uh, since we have this thick wire here uh, it is going to give us high current and the voltage is also 13.2 volts so uh, we need to uh, make a very small like 30 milliseconds of pulse uh, for spot welding those lithium ion cells right so I think that's all for today and uh, if you have enjoyed this video do like my video share it and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, also if you have any questions related to this transformer uh, I am pleased to answer those questions uh, in the comment section below right so stay tuned with me take care bye bye